Oh, hey everybody. So this is a partially disassembled IKEA Stuva loft bed. And uh, so anyway, uh, our current situation though is um, rather than having the uh, ladder mount on the right hand side like you would typically assemble one of these, uh, just due to the shape of the room that we're in, we're gonna go ahead and modify that and send it over to the left side. So. So first off, if you're moving, you have to disassemble one of these things. This is kind of the pieces that I found work the best as far as you don't have to disassemble every single thing. Um, but it, this is basically getting it into movable pieces, I guess you could say, getting it out of a room and through whatever and into a vehicle. Uh, so basically we got this section, which is the, uh, the main bed frame. Uh, the ladder used to go on this end. Uh, we're going to move it over. So basically this whole assembly, you've got the two sides, you've got the taller side that's going to be on the back, and then this is a shorter side, but you end up bolting a secondary piece on it, which is this piece. Um, you got the ladder, which you'll remove that. The end the headboard or footboard depending probably be the headboard that's one long piece it's got two pieces there basically where it attaches together you can leave that all intact and um, you know I still got a, you can see a few of the dowels and some of the bolts I'll put them in place just so not to lose them otherwise you know putting them in a baggie is a good idea uh, and then this is the uh, I guess the footboard that mounts on top of this basically this uh, bookcase thing here. So the plan is that we're gonna, this is gonna be on the left side now, the bookcase rather than the right side. So we're gonna invert this 180 degrees as well as moving it uh, to the other side. So this is how it's gonna be the end result. And so inside looking out, you'll be able to see the shelves like this. Um, so the frame of the bed, basically it sits up on top of this piece here and um, you know, you've got this little piece, little knob, there's a hole with a little cam lock that holds it in place and then just there's four, four corners there, that's one of the holes, but they'll be, or there it is right there, but there's these dowels, wooden dowels there, but the, the distance from here to here is slightly different. So initially I was just gonna move these to this side and then, you know, basically I thought that would do it, but then upon looking at the distance of these dowels, um, we're gonna have to basically either drill new holes or just looking at the rest of it, the attachment points, um, they're all symmetrical. So I think on the, the path of least resistance on this is just gonna be to unbolt the top of this flip it around 180 degrees, put it back down. Uh, the other side that holds the frame, this piece, what I'm gonna do here is essentially there's, get in here a little closer. So these uh, holes here, that's where a couple of the dowel pins will go and then there's uh, this one here and then that one's still got the, the dowel in it. Um, but I'm gonna, basically what I'm gonna do is just th moving the board from one side to the other and I'm gonna use basically the back side uh, will be the side that goes up against the bed rather than what this side was. What I'll do is just drill all the way through where these wooden dowels are and just reset those on the other side and it should, should all go together other than that. Uh, the other modifications we'll have to make. So on the ladder here, and the way I initially I thought I would just reverse these, but the way these the these the pieces here that you stand on, um, some of them are bolted in with a wooden dowel, and then others they alternate. So this one's gonna have the wooden dowels, that one will have a bolt and a dent. So you can't really, I mean, you'd have to just drill holes on the other sides and everything else. So basically what we'll do here is I'll remount these little cam lock peg things to the other side. And then this side's got 
just two holes and I'll just drill the holes on this side, mount the pegs on this side. Um, so all these holes that are going to end up in this thing that really that's what you're the, the only way to really do this uh, is just to make these modifications and so I think what I'll start off first is reversing this top and we'll kind of just go through step by step as far as how to you know I didn't I don't necessarily want to put this whole thing back together normally disassemble it and show the steps to step by step at that point so hopefully if you're confident enough to do this project even after watching a video you're probably confident enough to disassemble it to this point you know, especially if you're going to move you know you may be in our situation where it's you know you've already got the bed you've been using it but then you move somewhere and the room's just not the where the door is it just doesn't uh, you know it's a pretty big bed so some rooms that are smaller they just it just would fit better if it was on the right side so anyway yeah let's get right into it uh, so one tool you're going to need that's kind of a special tool um, is basically I had to buy this drill bit that was a, it's a 25 64 so I think it's approximately 10 millimeters it's 9.9 .9 millimeters is what it's uh, the size there that it's referenced to I'm not I'm not 100% sure it's a little it's a little bigger than 3 8 though so but anyway this is one of the little dowel pins and um, so it, you know, it's it's kind of hard to measure because it's got those little ridges. But uh, as far as just measuring the holes, that's what I was coming up with 9.7, 9.9, somewhere in there. And then these are the little uh, the little insert nuts that go in, and then your you know bolt will go through there. So and just you know measuring these, that's you know 9.95, whatever. So that's. Uh, that seemed like the drill bit for the job. I kind of test drilled a hole here, and that's a pretty, seems like a pretty decent fit. Um, you know, the little, that nut piece goes in pretty decent. So, um, yeah, that's one thing you're going to want to get is, is a drill bit that's 2564. So I just got this at Lowe's, so Lowe's, Home Depot, any of your big box stores. Uh, you know any I don't know ace hardware whatever uh, so anyway that's I'm gonna be using the uh, my drill there and then I like these little impact drivers for um, putting in a lot of the the big wood screw type things where they have to go in or just even you know you got to be kind of careful because these do have quite a bit of power but it'll zip these things apart and you know make quick work of assembly or disassembly there Okay, so one thing before we get our holes lined up, we're gonna do drill them. I had a viewer ask one time how to remove these wooden dowels. Um, sometimes they're, you know, this one obviously just came out by hand. This one maybe, well, that one did too. If you get one that's really stuck, um, that's a poor example. Uh, so anyway, got this one's pretty tight in here. It's one of the bigger ones. So what I told the viewer, I can't remember what I said, but this is typically what I would probably try is just grip them with some vice grips or channel locks. But you don't want to get this too tight and then just kind of, you know, just with a rubber, you know, a mallet that's got plastic on the end. Um, you know, you want to grip this tight enough to where it kind of digs in and it's not going to slip really easy. I didn't de deform the wood here much at all. So, um, yeah, that's basically, I was hoping that those would have been difficult, but um, that's, that's essentially it as far as that goes. Okay, so that, uh, that plan A is not going to work as far as flipping this 180 degrees just because there's subtle differences in the, as far as the, well, it's not subtle, but the thickness of this board versus this one. This is quite, this is twice as thick, so the holes are inset just a little bit, so when you flip it around, you go to put it on here, this edge hangs over, and then this edge uh, doesn't, it's not, it's under, under hanging over that end there. So, um, yeah, we're just, I'm just going to go to plan B, and then as far as these dowel 
holes here from the this one from the uh, edge to the center is three and an eighth in in, of an inch three inches three and one eighth inch this side uh, it's I don't know what that would be probably three and three quarters so I, it looks like it's about a half an inch difference there so uh, yeah um, just going to redrill these holes for the dowels and then relocate these cam lock pins to this side that would have been the easiest way to start with had I known all that so yeah this is where you are going to want to start as far as to modify the main cabinet which is probably where we're going to start anyways so I just stuck the the drill bit down into one of the existing dowel holes just to get a depth measurement and so from here I just put some electrical tape on top of the drill bit so I would know how basically how deep to how deep to drill to match the other holes so basically I just used a pair of digital calipers and measured my center lines just by going off the edge and you know marking the tip where the center was and then from there you can basically scratch in your your lines and then I did the same thing with the distance on the between the edge and the hole there to get my distance lines measured out so now we've got a nice little X etched into each one and I'll start off with a smaller drill bit just to get this kind of started and we'll finish up with the uh, that bigger one that I just bought it's probably you might want to go a little slow just to get your center really dialed in these have to be fairly accurate there it looks pretty centered I'm just visually looking at it making sure we're going straight up and down there both ways do a second pilot hole just like this drill bit lead me to the center there once I get it somewhat established we'll start just going with it Again, that's just those are just the pilot holes. Now we'll put our, put our bigger drill bit. What size was this? Our big 25 60 fourths. Then we're just gonna center it up with our pilot hole and go straight down to that yellow tape line. pretty close to the other hole so I'm trying not to kind of go easy with it so we don't split that between the two it's pretty good right there So got all the uh, my wooden dowels relocated and the two cam lock pins located there. And then I also just forgot about this, but I relocated the two cam lock pins down here below as well. So uh, as far as I know, the cabinet's ready to go. I'll probably move that up first, and then we'll start 
uh, doing a few tweaks to some of these other pieces and get it going from there. All right, so we got the top reverse, like I said, and then this piece here, normally it went the other way, but basically we're just moving it straight down. So the only downfall is that the, uh, the, the little turn cam lock pieces and then these labels that says do not remove are gonna be visible um, as soon as you walk in the room, but everything else lines up. So uh, the, what I'm gonna do there is typically my daughter, like, you know, it's gonna get decorated anyway, so I'm just gonna leave that as it is and then either, you know, put some kind of decals or just cover it up, make a collage or something like that here on this backside because there's this other flat backside there that's it's going to end up, I already know, getting just decorated and everything else. So we got that part done. Um, basically now I'm going to start modifying probably the ladder. So these are our original holes. These are the two holes to replicate. These two holes were the little cam lock shaft stud things are going to mount. So I've got those holes drilled. It's a little sketchy because it's so close to this hole basically goes all the way through so that's going to, threads are going to be pretty close to the, uh, those holes are going to go into so. Uh, I think that'll be alright. That feels pretty solid. It doesn't look like it protruded into the other hole there. Alright, so everything that side I think I've got pretty well dialed in. Uh, these two holes... So these two holes here are the same on both ends, so I shouldn't have to mess with anything there. I've relocated these, which are going to fit right into there, like so. Um, I'll have to redo the holes in here as well, because they, they don't line up with this ladder on being on the end. They're used to the ladder being on this end, so. Um, then over here, rotate this over. Uh, these, there's two holes on one end and on the other end that has the flat, there's typically three holes. And the spacing is the two end holes top and bottom on the three hole version is slightly above this hole, slightly above this hole. So I'm going to use the three hole in here but just connect two holes since it's being supported by this. I don't think it needs the full three holes. And then on the other end where there, there's just two holes in the side piece there, I'm just going to relocate these two holes on that and then I'll drill another hole just in through the uh, you know from the outside in like this I'll just drill and put a long uh, long wood screw through there give it some extra stability so the on this side we didn't change anything I'm going to incorporate everything here not going to be using these dowels um, initially I was going to drill the, just drill them straight through and use these two dowel locators, but I think with just having the bolts and everything together, we're going to be good uh, as far as this. We've got, I'm kept these two dowels to basically kind of help with this screw supporting, but I think these two will be fine, and then in addition the outer plate there, I don't think that's going to be an issue at all. And then the same thing with these, we had to relocate that hole a little lower and that hole a little bit lower. It's the same, I believe it's 10 inch space, but it's just about a, I don't know, maybe a half an inch, a little less maybe difference. I'll, I'm not going to use the dowels on this side. I don't, I mean, I think it's just mainly a locator to help you get these bolts started, but I'll just put a regular, just a wood screw, long wood screw in that one. That hole there, I guess, and uh, so yeah, we've got footboard side, and I had to re-drill the holes here that kind of peel some of that away. But um, the two holes will go there. It's just 
up above on these ones instead of below. And then everything on the other side, we're just going to reincorporate all that. Since the, there was a gap originally on this end, we're basically going to slide that board over, and so the gap will be at this end. So the original three holes to mount this taller side piece were this one, this one, and this one. But we're moving, moving everything over. I, did, I haven't even measured that. I just basically laid the board up against it and uh, um, basically mocked it up like that. So, um, yeah, so you, you could actually measure it if you wanted to, with, you know, and mark it up. This way felt like it was a easier, a little easier way to do it. But, um, you know, from there I just marked my three holes. This is going to be further out. So basically that whole board's going to move out that way. And then it's going to mount here against the, the footboard. And then the ladder will mount on this, this end here. So I think I got all the holes and modifications done. So we'll go ahead and put it, put it, take it upstairs and put it together. All right. So we got the, uh, forgot about this part. I had to drill the dowel holes in the bottom of this side, uh, just because that's really the only thing holding it centered on the the shelf portion of the bed. So I think we're totally done now with drilling holes. All right, so it's a little bit of work, but we finally got it done. Um, yeah, everything basically went together. I forgot to drill the holes for this ladder, so it offsets. Uh, see there, where, you can see there where the original hole was, and then basically it's just a matter of. Just a matter of drilling the holes offset. And yeah, there we go. Left hand ladder set up. Took me a good portion of the day, but we got it done. So, yeah, hopefully, if you're uh, looking to do the same thing, uh, reversing this ladder position, that's basically what you're in for there. So, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.